So I'm giving myself nine minutes. I'm Jason Hobbs, and this is unresearched example number four. This time we're doing a local tire and lube center. South Georgia Lube Center. This is from their Facebook page. This is from Google Local View, or I can't remember what it is. Anyway, this was from their Facebook page. That's the front door. So the goal of this is to get attention. And that could happen through a Facebook ad. But the thing that really matters is keeping attention, right? So with the Loop Center, it they need a website, a digital store. And this is the one that I've thrown together. And this is just an example, but it is a working demo. So you'll be able to go to jasonhobbsllc.com forward slash example dash four the number four, so example dash four, and you'll be able to, there'll be a link there to go and check out the demo. And I'm gonna continue to update it. Uh, I've just thrown a, something real quick together, uh, literally like 10 minutes to on the demo. So the goal is to cease the digital sharecropping and then grow the brand's digital experience. Same as in the second and the third example. So once again, in the fourth, and so here's the current web page or the current Facebook brand page. And <clears throat> the goal is to make interactions effortless for people visiting the site, visiting the lube center and brick and mortar. So what are they going to be doing? Well, people need to schedule service. They need to receive the service. They need to buy the tires and pay and have them, you know, put on and rotated and et cetera. So what we want to do is, take as much of that and make it as routinized, so to speak, through digital as possible. And that'll play out through the website. Now, the Facebook page, you wanna to continue to do that, obviously, but in that instance, there's a gatekeeper, which is Facebook, and the gatekeeper is in between South Georgia Lube Center, that staff and their customers, the people that would buy from them. The customer point of view is truck and car owners whose regular driving brings them by the brick and mortar loop center on a regular basis, right? So the, and obviously they can talk to other people that aren't going to be coming through on a regular basis, but we're, we're starting with those folks. And the pressing problem is that these people have repairs and service that they need to have done and they they want to do it with minimal stress from their perspective from that end user that customer perspective so the solution is to give a digitally efficient brick and mortar experience and what that plays out as is it just simplifies the typical points of customer interaction so people solving a car problem with service or repair or practicing preventative maintenance with tires etc and there's obviously other stuff like you know, there's the ability to ship uh, branded materials, you know, t-shirts, etc. But the point is, we want to bake the digital in to the experience. It's not that they're going to the website, it's they're interacting with South Georgia Lube Center, and th that'll play out through their smartphone, that'll play out, you know, when they walk in the door, <laughs> that'll play out while they're standing on the lot through their smartphone if they want it to. Just because if it's easier for them to check out that way, let them do it, right? So customer point of view is access. So they're going to get it through the brick and mortar location. That's where the actual repairs outside of if I if and this is an unresearched example. So but I do remember if I remember right, they have um, roadside service. That's it. Roadside service. So brick and mortar location, any roadside service during whatever hours that the, of operation that has. And then you add into that the Loop Center's website, which is a store, and that's open 24-7, 365. So the value to the end user is they have to put less effort into getting their car and truck problems fixed with minimal personal pain. So cars and trucks spending fewer total hours in the Loop Center's care and minimize the total wait time customers spend on Loop Center premises or invest in the Loop Center account admin. Right. So because if they can just do it whenever they don't have to go up there and but they always have access to, you know, their account, everything that they've spent with them and, you know, so forth. It's just it's a simpler experience. And it's still simple from the Loop Center's point of view, because WooCommerce is taking care of most of all of the heavy lifting. So customer point of view is the education. This is kind of the voice for the 
the outbound communication to get attention from people. So the, and this is unresearched, my gut is something along the lines of we're here, we care and have for years. I don't know exactly how many years, but I'm betting that they've been there for more than one because I've lived here for 12, 13 years. And I think they've been here the whole time. I'm not sure. So the foundation would be something like sgalube.com, southgeorgialube.com. Um, but the, you want it to be their own website. And I've put together this uh, as part of the unresearched example. I like to have a demo so that you can go and actually see the store, see the WooCommerce, see how the, um, you know, the account page works and how it lists everything automatically and, you know, so forth. So for the media for South Georgia Lube, I'd start with video and I do... I would film the Lube Center activity during the business day. Then also just any staff interactions with customers. And the goal behind this is obviously, we're just learning over time. We're getting to know these people and you know, we, we're inter introducing live chat, we're introducing email, and we're introducing a digital experience. We're taking the, the quality customer service that they already provide in a brick and mortar face-to-face, -face, we're taking that and translating that to digital. So as far as the customer conversation here, I'd start with live chat during the open hours and then the long-term conversation would be supplemented by email and the phone. And the whole point is we just wanted you to be able to understand every, every time that one of your customers for South Georgia Lube decides to reach out, we want to make sure that you or whoever on your staff you know, picks up the phone or answers the chat or answers the email has full context on that customer as far as where that customer is, what they need to know, you know, and, you know, just understanding the whole what's happened, etc. So the goal is to minimize the total time customers invest into the South Georgia Lube Center experience. So live chat by drift, bottom right, you can see there the, uh, the little dog, my logo, that's the live chat. It's not open up at this point but that's where they can interact with live chat and start a conversation now the campaigns the marketing strategy for me is always customer intimacy i'd start with awareness of the loop center's heart like what's the what's the heart behind them and once again it's completely unresearched so that would be the first thing is you have to you know, look them in the eye and kind of if it's on video if it's face to face whatever but you have to kind of get a sense of what's the heart of this operation basically and then defining that it will then help you understand how the audiences are interacting with this you know, entity and then we define the audiences to talk to them directly in their own words all right, so a couple of audience ideas, car owners, truck owners, local fleet owners. The initial estimate, we just threw it the 89. So liquidweb.com, $39 per month for the beginner. This is the managed WooCommerce hosting. So $39 a month, and you'll have to upgrade it from there. You're going to want to, though. Um, and then $50 a month, drift.com, to go ahead and set up your account there and have two live chat operators that will be available, plus it'll bake in the email and all that for the different accounts. And then, or, you know, people, your customers, their, their email address with you. So $500 a month for a hypothetical first ad budget is typically what I start with. Throw that all into Facebook ads to get going. And the goal behind the Facebook ads is we're just looking for underpriced attention. And so we're starting with Facebook and we want to understand each individual audience like you know, this point of view for South Georgia Lube Company it's unresearched but we do understand that there is a, a brain trust that runs the Lube Center and has for years right and done the brick and mortar version we want to just translate that to digital and the way that I approach marketing period is you have to get attention and keep attention period you the getting of attention that's the ads the facebook ads or when they see the roadside service um truck or whatever that you know provides roadside service i'm sure there's signage on it um and then every verbal staff customer interaction just throughout the course of time right i'll run through facebook automated ads you could start with the on-site and it's the same thing i didn't worry about doing a new one here because it's the exact same thing it just the what it boils down to is for pennies on the dollar, five bucks a day, you're reaching 1,200 to 2,500 people. 
with the with your message from the South Georgia Loop Center. Then the other part is we would set up Zapier, and what you're doing is using some basic automation to bring all the data into one place, which in this instance, it's drift, D-R-I-F-T dot com. And um, so the Facebook page, when they give a new recommendation, it would log that on their timeline within drift. So the keeping of attention, now that happens on the website and that's where the primary media channel is because that's the direct interaction with your customer. Just like with me, I have Facebook, LinkedIn, etc. My website, jasonobsllc.com, that's where direct interactions always stem from. Here's the example. This is, I just threw this in real quick and, you know, a small car oil lube and filter that allow them to add it to cart. And here's the, you know, a quick view of the cart. And obviously they're not going to need shipping, but then again, they could maybe want to ship their Yeti cups to people, right? And so we would be able to do that. And I'm just showing that, you know, out of the box, we already have that capability. And that's all just baked in. So real easy to get things rolling and, you know, just let the market kind of determine what they want, you know. All right. So I guess that that's it. So the... Fifth unresearched example, local accountant, Lamar Purvis, LLP. Yep, that's going to be it. That'll be number five. And this is unresearched. Like, I'm not contacting Lamar and them and, you know, so forth. This is just, hey, let me take, I'm trying to keep it under 60 minutes total investment on my part because it's an unresearched, you know, example. But it's the same process or procedure that I use for every client. And, you know, every client has an onboard, so to speak, and then they have an ongoing relationship. It's just, it's a two-way conversation is the point of that. 